Shadow's mother filed a federal civil lawsuit against Lackawanna County, saying her daughter wasn't well enough to be an informant to help detectives. Now both parties have come to an agreement before the case went to trial. The Lackawanna County District Attorney's Office and Dunmore Police have agreed to give $1.85 million to the estate of 24-year-old Nina Gatto. County detectives recruited and used Gatto as a confidential informant, and Dunmore Police happened to also employ one of those detectives. According to the lawsuit, Nina's mother, Katie Gatto, had a problem with her daughter being an informant for detectives. Nina lived with dissociative identity disorder. Her mother says investigators put Nina in danger by making her a confidential informant, resulting in her death. Back in 2015, a judge decided Nina was incapable of safely and consistently managing her life and made Katie her legal guardian. Nina was found dead inside her Scranton home back in April of 2018. At the time, she was aiding detectives with the drug investigation of Cornelius Mapson, a known gang member. Katie Gatto said in the weeks before her daughter's death, Nina was sending her texts worried about being an informant, saying Mapson would catch on but detectives assured Nina to stay the course. Mapson discovered Gatto was helping investigators. He, along with Melinda Palermo and Kevin Weeks, injected Gatto with a lethal dose of fentanyl and then suffocated her. Palermo and Weeks pleaded guilty for their involvement of Gatto's murder and testified at Mapson's trial in 2020. Cornelius Mapson is serving a life sentence in state prison for Gatto's murder. Once the criminal case was closed, Katie Gatto filed the civil lawsuit. The lawsuit claims law enforcement did not abide by their duties, disregarding Nina's mental health history. The money will not come out of the general funds, but be paid out through the insurance companies. DA Mark Powell says since Gatto's death, the county revised and put new policies in place regarding confidential informants. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, reporting live in the newsroom.